Hey what's everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So this is not a vlog, this is a bit of a different video. I'm basically home alone and didn't know what to do in my life. So I thought I would do a little vlog. I love watching videos of people like sorting out the wardrobe, decluttering, doing stuff like this. So I basically ordered a clothing rail because I'm gonna show you my wardrobe. I, as you can see, my wardrobe's bursting open. There's a pile of clothes there. This is all the clothes that are in my wash basket still that need sorting out. But if you open my wardrobe, there's literally no room. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but I, you cannot physically get anything in. I were gonna buy a bigger wardrobe and I were looking on Amazon to buy a bigger wardrobe and then my friend Joel, he is like a menswear vlogger, blogger, everything like the coolest guy I actually know. <laughs> he has like these really sleek clothing rails in his wardrobe space and it just one looks really really cool to film in front of and also it just gives him more space and he can hang his clothes up and see what he's got because I've been finding I'm really struggling. This is such a first world problem, but I buy clothes, put them in my wardrobe and because it's that cramped and you can't actually see the individual pieces in there, I forget I've even bought them and then I don't end up wearing things or I wear things once. It goes in the wash, into my wardrobe and then I just never see it again because my wardrobe's like a black pit at this point. So anyway, Joel inspired me to buy a clothing rail so I actually went on Amazon and bought one the other day and now I'm gonna put it up and I'm just currently moving my desk along so I'm thinking if I put my desk along to that, and I can set the clothing rail up along this back wall and I can put all my nice clothes on there and I can be like very fashionable and try and make it work. So this is the clothing rail right here. I need to unbox it and put it all together. I'm hoping it's really easy to put together. Otherwise, I may have messed up. First things first, I need to move all my shoes and stuff from this area, move my desk along to the wall and then start unpackaging everything. So I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna time lapse it because it's probably boring of you just to watch me moving stuff. So I don't know why I spontaneously decided to do this now because I I really can't be bothered. I always get asked where my desk is from and I just thought I would mention. So, it's from Ikea, but it's not like an actual desk. So this is a tabletop meant for a desk, but I just bought like the actual tabletop, as you can see. It's not being screwed in or anything, it's just a blank tabletop. These, I think, are easel legs for like a painting sort of thing. And I just thought, it's not the most sturdy thing in the world, but I got two of the black, like little, I don't know what you even call this. And I just put a plank of wood on top of it and it's my desk. So those of you that are wondering where it's from, Ikea. Bit of a DIY moment. Right, I've moved my desk over. I'll show you the end result in a second, but I now need to open this. And the space that this clothing rail is going to fit is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, because I imagined, obviously, my desk would push up right up to the corner, but the legs are too long, so it doesn't actually push to where I wanted it to fit. This should work, fingers crossed. Pray for me in the comments below. I'm watching Mark and Zoe's vlog while I'm doing this because I'm stressed and I feel like this... I've done it wrong already. I feel like this is going to really de-stress me, so it's really, really easy to build. I'm going to leave a link to this, actually. This is not sponsored or anything, but I literally bought this at my own money. They have, like, a number, a letter B, so, like, all the little, like, little, I don't know, like, these parts, what are, like, the screwy parts, but not screws because they're not all screws. But all the little parts are letters, and all the poles have numbers on them, and it literally says that you put A into B in, like, this description thing. It's so much easier than Ikea, like, it's all numbered, so it says put A to B, and all stuff like that, so it's really, really easy, so I think I'm all right at it. However, I don't know how the fuck I meant to screw this shit together, like, with my hands, you know? Look at this, we're getting somewhere. Progress has been made. It's got, like, a little thing. This is why I'm gonna put my shoes on. Also, I'm watching Anna's video in the background, just listening to it. But I'm getting somewhere. I'm really getting somewhere. And we've only got, like, three poles left. Yeah, we've got the three poles left. So, fingers crossed, I can do it. Like the cool blue light. Ta-da! 16 hours later, the rail is built. So now I'm gonna like sort all my clothes out, go through that, put some stuff on there. For fuck's sake. So without spoiling my bedroom too much, Freya just got a new phone, um, as you can see. She's living her best life these days, you know. iPhone XR, she said. She said, what's the X and what's the R for? Um, extra real. Mm, why are your pants down? Hmm? <laughs> Tell the Anastasia Kings enough to see that. Ooh. So I um, ended up putting this pole together, but it also made me turn my entire bedroom upside down. So we're going to start off with a new room tour. My desk is pretty much in the same space as it was last time before I even started this video. So it's been moved slightly over towards the door, which I don't mind because the door still opens full. Like it's not like hindering the door opening. Kind of annoying that it's banged there when you first come in, but what can you do? It looks better this way. So my desk is right there. And of course we have the new addition to my room, which I think is going to make such a cool filming background. Like if I sat there and filmed like that. So we have a bunch 
bunch of outfits and stuff that I've either recently bought that I'm wearing to fashion week or that I just need to wear more and then we have all my favorite shoes on the bottom there then I put my little plan on this comedy garçon box and it just kind of works next to my bed obviously my bed is now up against this wall which is really really fun kind of want to get like a print to put along like along there like a thin long print I think that'd be quite fun my wardrobe and set of drawers are pretty much in the same space apart from they were on that wall they've literally just been flipped around that side and I had a little bit of a declutter of this top desk thing as well so obviously obviously as you can see my 100k plaque and then my aftershave polaroid camera and just a reed diffuser then on this side we have some snow fairy spray little cactus and then my jewelry pot and then I've put my Crosley and all my records there on the rug I also moved the rug positioning as well just because I think this little space again for filming in I think is super super cute so obviously I had this ladder before to hang like my jackets and stuff on but now I don't need it because I've got the rail so I just had that peeking out I just think this whole like little section looks a bit like Urban Outfitters showroom you know kind of fun my ring light obviously won't be there all the time but it's just a place to keep it and then my wardrobe space is still the same here um there's a bunch of stuff on there what all needs sorting out and there's boxes on there that I need to get rid of but I just thought I'd put it up there just for the time being Freya's back in short hi my child's and then this is the where the mirror and little thing is placed if you're wondering what's in there by the way I bought a weight set first year of uni never ever use it and it's just in there now along with my bedding so that situation's there and then ASOS parcels that need to be returned but yeah this is the current situation of my bedroom I just think it looks so much better like I said I would love like a little thin mirror along that back wall but I don't think that's gonna happen so for now it's just staying like that I might get a print if anyone knows any good print places at Disneyo then um, please do let me know but I think it looks fun I really like it. I think it opens up the space a lot more.